Tesla has just begun full operations at its lithium refinery in the United States. It's the first lithium refinery ever built in the US. And honestly, for Tesla, their vertical integration just continues to improve. This is a bit of a scary situation for competitors for Tesla. I mean, basically Tesla are manufacturing their own batteries. Yes, I know Panasonic makes some of them as well, but Tesla make a lot of their own batteries now in the US and they're increasing production. And now they're basically making the products that go into the batteries as well. This is a huge advantage for Tesla. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to have you with us. Not only this is, is this an advantage for Tesla, it's also good for America in general because, well, if you don't have any lithium refineries in America, then you're dependent on other countries, right, for production. So that's not really a good thing. Tesla has officially started operations at its new lithium refining factory in Texas, coming over a year after the company first broke ground on the site. So I think they've actually manufactured this facility quite quickly. On Saturday, the Tesla North America account on X said for the first time, the team fed raw materials through the kiln of its Robstown lithium refinery. The site is located outside of Corpus Christi and it's the first large scale refinery for battery grade lithium in the United States and the first industrial deployment of an acid free lithium refining route as detailed, detailed by Tesla in its original announcement for the project. So not only is Tesla refining lithium at this facility, they're doing it in a way that is actually going to make more sense. It's going to be more affordable and it's going to be faster. This investment is critical to our mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy and represents our efforts to aggressively increase the supply of battery grade lithium hydroxide available in North America, said Tesla. Upon reaching volume production, the lithium refinery will produce around 50 gigawatt hours of battery grade lithium annually. That is quite a lot of lithium. Now, if you want a job, Tesla is listing jobs, a lot of jobs for its robotics division, AI, but also they have job listings on their careers page for this facility, for this refinery as well. Kind of unfortunate if you live in California and you can see all these jobs that would have been come to California, but they've been outsourced and they're all going to Texas now. But still, you could always move to Texas if you wanted to. Tesla actually broke ground on the lithium refining facility last May, though the company has been making steady progress on construction throughout much of the year, says Teslarati. The site was aimed to start production in the first quarter this year with construction valued at roughly 375 million US dollars. It's not cheap to build one of these. I'm surprised. I didn't think it would be that expensive. 375 million US dollars Australians. That's well over 500 million Australian dollars. It's quite a, quite a, a lot of sum, a big sum of money. The news comes after the US and other North American and European markets aim to decrease reliance on China for the processing of minerals for electric vehicle batteries. So this is going to be a bit of an issue for other companies in America, for other EV manufacturers. Sourcing refined lithium that's not from China could be a bit of a challenge. Plans for more lithium refineries are underway in the US though, and there are a handful of active and planned lithium mining sites in America. But this factory represents a big step towards domestic production of EV batteries in their entirety. In other words, the lithium being mined in the US, then being refined in the US and being you know, turned into the battery grade lithium that's needed. According to a report from Reuters, China makes up around two thirds of the world's lithium chemical output as in all the ref most, pretty much all the world's refineries are located in China. Remember that you can't just mine lithium and stick it into a battery. You've got to refine it. And that's a, um, it's a fairly involved process. As you, can, as you can see, this is a pretty impressive facility. It's got a whole bunch of buildings on site. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge undertaking. What are your thoughts about this? Let me know in the comments. Tesla has built some of the biggest batteries around the world and it's built and completed yet another battery, but it's in Texas. In fact, Texas is installing more renewables in the United States over the next four years than the rest of America combined. 
Here are the details on Tesla's new battery. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us, I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I recently did a video about the renewable energy, the plans for renewables all over the United States. Now, unfortunately, the United States plans on tripling its nuclear energy production capacity, tripling its nuclear capacity between now and the year 2050. I believe that's a critical mistake and I believe so does Tony Sieber. However, on the flip side, there is a lot of renewables being built. Tesla has officially powered on its latest Megapack battery project in the United States. This time, that battery has been completed in Texas. It will help prevent issues like when Texas froze, when Texas the Texas grid was essentially frozen over and it stopped working, I believe for nearly a week. People died, a lot of people died because it was freezing and people didn't have any heating. So the idea for these batteries is that they can back up the grid. They can store renewable energy. They can store all that excess solar, excess wind generation where there's too much wind blowing and that does happen. They store that in the battery and then they discharge the energy when the grid needs it. And this actually does provide grid stability. We saw perfect example of this. I mean, textbook perfect example of that in Adelaide, which is a city here in Australia, Western Australia. It's the first real major city in the world to be about 90, approximately 95% renewables, and it will be 100% within the next two years. Renewables based only on wind, batteries, and solar. So all the other grids in the world where they're 100% renewables, they are primarily relying on, you know, grid stability by having, uh, actually having hydropower. So they have enough water to use as, a, as an enormous battery, then they can use that to basically prevent the need for fossil fuels. So we know that it actually is actually possible now to have an, a grid based 100% on re renewables only from wind, solar and batteries, but you need the batteries. And batteries are a huge benefit. Look at California. California, peak, many problems with the grid, yeah, those problems have largely been solved now by building some of the biggest batteries in the world. Getting back to Adelaide, their power would go off, right? They had blackouts all the time. Very, very, the most common city in Australia to have blackouts. They don't have them anymore at all. Tesla actually built what was at the time the biggest battery in the world. In fact, Elon Musk promised they would build it within 100 days. And if they didn't build it within 100 days, the battery would be free, which was, you know, billions of dollars. Or hundreds of millions of dollars, potentially billions of dollars. I don't remember the exact cost. However, the battery was so successful that the company that contracted Tesla to build it actually doubled the size of that battery two years later because it made them so much money.